it's not easy being me, and I don't know why I'm like this. Like, I will say yes to any man. Like, even men that are not offering. Sir, yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I will. Like, I was taking the subway downtown the other day, and this guy came up to me with, like, this huge bulge in his pants, and I was like, sir, is that a gun in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? You know, like, uh, you know. Uh, plot twist, it was a gun. Um, <laughs> He was not happy to see me. <laughs> and now I don't have a wallet, so. <laughs> By the way, I want you to know that that's not a joke. That's just an anecdote from my horrible month. <laughs> oh, God. Why am I like this? Why? You know, I've given it a lot of thought. And uh, if you don't mind, I'll open up to you just a little bit, because I think we're at that point in the set. <laughs> I don't want to get, like, all Nanette and everything, but... Um... <laughs> I think I'm like this, I think I'm such a hoe because I've just had my heart broken too many times, you know? Like, Aww. right? Aww. I can't trust regular relationships anymore, you know? I don't know if it's the kind of men that I bring into my life or the fact that I saw my dad cheat on my mom so many times, but every guy that I have ever dated has been cheated on by me, you know? <laughs> and I'm just like, how does that happen? What's the common denominator? What Will the circle be unbroken, Lord, by and by? Um, uh, no, but I'm not gonna stand up here and rag on men and relationships all evening, I promise, okay? Because it's true, I'm not married, but I am finally engaged, everybody. Look at that! <laughs> he went to uh, Delia's or something, look at this piece of shit. Oh my God, no. I, yeah, I, I am engaged. I, I'm glad that you applauded for it, but you didn't have to. Like, getting a man, it's not that hard, you know? <laughs> Men are like STDs. The more you fuck around, the more likely you are to catch one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if you fuck around in the right way, you'll catch one you can't get rid of. Um, <laughs> uh, but I was trying to talk about trash, everybody. I am trash. I used to try to hide it. I used to try to change it, but I do not any more, okay? It's like Riverdance up here. I'm like, I don't anymore. Um, I, I don't, and that's because of an experience that I had in early 2020. Back in 2020, before the pandemic and all this shit happened, um, I was doing my favorite thing. I was in full geesh. I was in drag, I was in a cab. Only at that time, I was trying to turn over a new leaf. I was trying to not be trash, so I wasn't hitting on the Uber driver, even though he was gorgeous, you know? When suddenly, while I was pretending to be someone I wasn't, something happened. We got in a pretty major accident, okay? The Uber slammed into the car in front of us, and me, an idiot not wearing a seatbelt, because I hate to separate these two beauties, you know? <laughs> Me, an idiot, I go flying forward and smash my face into the glass divider between me and the driver and just hit the floor of the cab. Well, when I got up a few minutes later, the first thing that I saw was my face printed on the glass divider <laughs> like I was a human fucking stamp, you know what I mean? Just like lipstick, mascara, foundation, just smudged there. It looked like the Shroud of Turin if Jesus had ever come out as gay, you know what I mean? Like the Shroud of Turin, but make it fashion. And, <laughs> and I immediately thought two things. One, that's hilarious. <laughs> two, I almost died while pretending to be somebody I'm not. Everybody, life is short. You never know when you might go, and when you go, you might leave in a hilarious fashion. 